get into the field this a.m. Those are the hemp bales from last year. Jeff's moved the planter up here. I see the hood is still up on the case. So that's not a great sign, but we'll go see what's up. Firing up the fans. Hey, bud. Too much power. Too much power. <laughs> <laughs> How's your farming going? Uh, finished a while ago, spraying some fucking bugs. Look at that beauty go. Now oh, this beauty. Not looking so beautiful. It is the turbo. I guess it's going to have to break right in half. We'll take a closer look at it when the mechanic's done, but in the meantime, I'm going to get a new row cleaner here and uh, throw it on when Jeff comes by again. So Randy the mechanic, not our Randy, has gone to get another turbo as uh, this one blew up. So we were going to put some canola in the planter from the drill. Guy's not on the level. Good haul, yeah. Ready? Loaded some canola out of the drill. Man, this thing is dusty. Hopefully that rain is still in the forecast. What's this guy doing? After we got the canola loaded, we found a few wheels with some hemp wrapped around them, so been cutting that off for a bit. Randy, the mechanic Randy, has shown back up with a turbo and he's throwing that in the quad track. We're just going to try the planter in some of this peaty land, see how it does. But ultimately the drill might be better on this piece with all the hemp. Way too many turning wheels on this machine to... I mean we're going to have to take it all apart at the end of this to unwrap the hemp. Oh, the tree. That's where I uh, buried the disc last year in that area. It uh, disappeared with some cell phone footage. So normally we wouldn't even venture close to here. It's, it's like a swamp and peat moss. It sucks you in, but super dry this year. And I also figured with the track machine only pulling this little planter, if there was a bit of trouble, I could have just lifted up and floored it and hopefully cruised out. But I thought that before. <laughs> well, that's got to be a good sign. Randy the mechanic is leaving. Oh, so, looks like the drill's going to get going, which is a good sign. Meanwhile, through the peat, this looks great, honestly. Planter seems like the way to go. Here's a thicker patch. Whether we'll be able to get in there and uh, combine it, it might be another story, but I was gonna lift up through here. Probably lift up through this guy though. 
not good. Last I saw Randy was rolling, he just called me. And uh, the mechanic was still sticking around to make sure everything was all good, which is a good thing because it wasn't. Randy said the turbo blew up again. That means the planter is going to finish this field. Hemp or no hemp. Pete or no Pete, we're smashing through it. Planter to the rescue, but uh, yeah, that's shitty, shitty news about the uh, quad track. Jeff's happy with the depth here. string of hemp had a bit of a pile up a little few peaty chunks and there's some massive rocks in this low peat area because it never gets seeded but I was dragging for a while and uh, I'm not very good at finding them when they're buried but it was riding above the ground so it does a pretty good job of showing where the seed is doink, doink. dropping the seeds Just a little blanky. I'm just grabbing a bit more seed. Not totally necessary. But I'm letting my fans cool down too. Because it is actually quite warm out today. It's smoky and hot. It's just the motor on the back that's getting little warm I mean I assume these gauges got to tell me something they were climbing a bit high sure for the fans individually so figured I'd throw some more seed in sounds like uh, might need it so why not the drill does not need it Most of them are good. Just a few more on the other side. So dusty. A bit of hemp wrapping up. I'm gonna finish this though and keep rolling. I got stuck in last year thinking there's nothing to it I just had to turn around through it and I went straight through it it tried to suck me in again it is just so thick wow in a bit it kind of just rolls through sometimes though as long as there aren't any big chunks of uh, grassy stuff Those are my ruts from last year. this is the last strip and back south that's it for you here planter Dang 
dangling hemp behind us. Made it to the next field here. Just a little guy, 30 acres. Before I do anything, no, well, they're not bad, but there's a lot of uh, hemp wrapped around, and I like to get rid of it before it just wraps itself around there. So yeah, gonna do that for a bit. So long for now, planter. Till we meet again.